today is March 9th, 2015. This is Skyclad Lilith, Kimana, Nicole, St. Martha. And I went to New Earth Nation the other day under Meow, New Earth Embassy on Wheels. Like a cat, meow. <laughs> you can say it however you want. That's how I say it. And I found a video by a young woman named Brittany Ashby. And I really want to thank her for inspiring me to create my own video and for cheering me up when I was in a very, very bad place. And this is sort of my hello to New Earth Nation. Let's see. I turned 57 years old on March 1st. Uh, I wouldn't go back to being younger. You couldn't pay me to go back to being younger. I've learned a lot along the way. <laughs> a lot of it the hard way. Uh, which doesn't mean that I'm not grateful for all the shit that I've been through. Because if I hadn't been through it, then I wouldn't be where I am today. And I pretty much like where I am today, except for money, which I know already. I know, Sasha, it's a fictitious thing. But it does help you get along, <laughs> especially here in the United States. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what else I... Um, I created Meow because what I am trying to manifest at the moment is a New Earth Caravan. There are so many different ways we could do it. But whatever vehicles people have or are going to get, like me, I don't have a vehicle yet. I'm planning on either getting a van or maybe a fifth wheel trailer. Or if something really bizarre happens and I get rich, then maybe a tiny house on wheels. Um, but we could all travel together and do, first of all, our first responsibility is to take care of ourselves and each other because if we don't do that, then we can't help anybody else in any way, shape, or form. So I want us to take care of ourselves and each other within Yao and we can teach as we go, by example, by so many different ways. We could, we could be a traveling school, or like the title says, an embassy of New Earth Nation. Uh, we could put on plays, we could do music, we could do sing-alongs, we could do workshops, we could... Uh, piggyback off of local craft fairs and uh, school fairs and things like that, provide support as well as our own educational materials. Uh, we could have a computer lab. We can hopefully raise most of our uh, at least vegetable food uh, within Meow itself. There are a gazillion ways to do that. Uh, I believe one of the reasons that I like the name Sky, and most people just call me Sky for short. So it was great that Brittany actually pronounced my first name properly, Sky Clad Lilith. Even people who've heard me pronounce it don't usually get do it that well. But Sky for short. But one of the reasons that I like the name Sky is because I believe in infinite possibilities. 
so there are infinite skies, as many as I want. The only boundary is my imagination. Um, so what else did I want to say? Uh, I haven't made a video like this in many years, so please be patient with me. Um, upon meeting me, one of the first things people want to know, whether they say it out loud or not, <laughs> is what about my beard? Well, I'll tell you, I think it was... Uh, a joke of my father's. My father had a very keen sense of humor. He had four daughters. I'm the oldest. And we always said that I was my father's only son. I was a tomboy. And uh, I was the one who'd help him work on the car or build a doghouse or a rabbit hutch or whatever, put stuff together at the house. And so it was always kind of a joke that I was my father's only son. And it turns out, when I got to be over 30, I started getting a lot of, a, a lot of chin hairs. For years I plucked it, then I shaved it, I tried depilatories, I tried waxing it, blah, 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 blah. And that is because biologically it's because I have something called PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome which means that I make a lot more testosterone than than most women which probably also explains at least partially why um, I've tended to hang out with the guys more than with women um, so anyway, that's about my beard. And a couple of years ago, uh, I decided to honor myself. This is part of me. It's just who I am. If you don't like it, go away and blessed be. You have other things to do in your life. Uh, but this is who I am. And I... I'm going to honor that. <laughs> so, if you don't like it, bye-bye. Good luck. Um, let's see. Uh, I have uh, two grown kids who live in Ohio. And each of them have two kids. Uh, they each have a boy and a girl. And uh, the girls are uh, 15 or about to turn 15, and the boys are 10 and 11. So my grandsons are 10 and 11. Uh, let I don't get to see them very often. The last time I got to see my grandkids was, I think, in 2007. Uh, I've been married twice, and I've been in lesbian relationships, long-term lesbian relationships, twice. Um, still looking for my soulmate. Don't know if it's going to be male, female, 1, 2, 15. I don't know. Don't care. When the time's right, we'll find each other. Uh, let's see. I've been on disability since 96. Um, that doesn't mean that I haven't been working, but not working for pay. Uh, for a decade in Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, in the 90s, I worked mainly with uh, people with AIDS. Um, a lot of uh, mothers and children with AIDS especially. Um, yeah. 
ignore that. And then when I left Cincinnati in 98, I went to uh, Asheville, North Carolina, USA. Did a lot of mental health work. Uh, Blue Ridge Area Authority, which was the local controlling authority for public mental health and things like that. Got involved with NAMI, which is not a very proud part of my personal history once I learned what NAMI really is and that they're just pushing drugs for Big Pharma. But, you know, life is a learning process. I learned a lot. And I did meet some great people. Uh, I was on, the, and then I was on the steering committee for Magnetic Minds Bipolar Support Group and did a lot of work with them. And then, uh, I worked with Asheville Radical Mental Health Collective. The first thing people want to know is what is radical mental health? Radical mental health basically is just admitting that we're adults. We're quite capable of doing our own research and making our own decisions whatever that happens to be, whatever supports your personal wellness is the best choice for you. And that's basically all radical mental health is. It's refusing to take orders blindly from people who don't even know us. Uh, I was inspired a lot by folks within the collective uh, who were part of the Icarus Project. You can find them at theicarusproject.net. Um, navigating the space between brilliance and madness. That's Icarus Project. So, okay, so I quit working for them. Uh... And I've, I've been floundering a lot since then, trying to find out what it is that's missing in my life, what it is that I can add that's good to the world. Um, like Brittany, I felt really, really blessed when I found New Earth Nation. And uh, especially watching, I, I, I probably watched all of New Earth Nation's videos now. A lot of them with Sasha Stone, some of them with Greg Paul. My favorite one is where uh, Brett Gregory interviews both Sasha and Greg. And the reason I like that one the best is because... Sasha and Greg are doing the same thing for the same organization, but the way they view it and the way they express it are different, even though the, even when they're saying the same thing. So sometimes I can understand what they mean better the way Sasha says it and sometimes I understand it better the way Greg says it so that interview kind of uh, brings it all together in a way that I think that just about anybody can understand so uh, and and Brett's uh, input too so he's also part of New Earth um, so now I'm not quite sure what the next step is since the community portal has opened. We've gotten new members. So I think what I'm going to do, other than posting this get to know me video, basically, um, I think I'm going to schedule a couple of chats as events so that we can all talk together and figure out what we want to do. 
I don't have a vehicle yet. Um, it's going to be at least three months before I can pull enough uh, cash together for a down payment on a vehicle. Um, and it you know, it's going to take time for us to plan. So that's okay. <laughs> and when I left Asheville at the end of December 2014, I moved in uh, with an old friend of mine, Moss. He was kind enough to take me in. And so I'm living in this little uh, 10 by 13 room. I left Oh, probably 95% of what I've ever always owned uh, back in Asheville. So this is kind of a, a good little warm-up for me <laughs> to be living uh, in a vehicle, uh, getting used to it gradually. And it's working out pretty well. Um, skill sets. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm a, a great editor. I uh, know the computer pretty well. I, I, when I was working for pay, I was a word processing specialist. Um, I'm, a, I'm a pretty good organizer. Uh, I've organized lots, <laughs> too many, probably. Uh, organizations and groups and uh, that includes scheduling, planning events, doing bookkeeping, doing uh, nonprofit taxes, writing grants. By the way, I hate writing grants. I hope I never ever have to write a grant again. I hate it. Um, I do it well, but I hate it. Uh, pulling together paperwork, just your basic organizing, putting together phone trees, figuring out, uh, like for the collective, um, where are we going to meet, securing a place to meet, paying for a place to meet, making sure we have uh, enough facilitators for groups, uh, training facilitators, um, I used to uh, do a lot of um, civil disobedience, um, so I'm I'm good at at uh, CD training and clinic defense training. Uh, a lot of experience in clinic defense training. Mm -hmm. And that's about all I can think of at the moment. Oh, things that I'm missing in my life, that I want in my life more. Sing-alongs. <laughs> I like sing-alongs around a campfire in somebody's house, walking along the street. I don't care. I love to sing, and I love to sing with other people. Kids. I really miss having kids in my life. And three- to five-year-olds are my favorites because they're old enough to communicate with you very well, but they still have a sense of wonder about everything. And too many people, myself included at times, have lost that sense of wonder. And it's just, they're constant reminders of it. <laughs> um, what else? Being able to get around, <laughs> which is uh, something that getting the vehicle for now would, would help with. And people who like to talk, uh, just like to have discussions together, uh, sometimes about concrete things, sometimes about abstract things. I don't always know that I bring uh, anything terribly special to the discussion, but that's probably the thing that I miss most about my second husband is when he'd get home, we'd get home from work on Friday night, we wouldn't stop talking until we had to leave uh, for work on Monday morning. 
A to Z. We didn't care. Sometimes we'd throw the dictionary out, <laughs> open it up, point to a word, and talk about it. <laughs> so, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, and I think that's it for now. Um, Brittany, thank you. New Earth Nation, thank you. Sasha, Greg, everybody, thank you. And blessed be.